What is up, YouTube? How you guys doing today? Uh, today, I'm here actually to review a product for you. This is the Samsung Chromebook 3. Um, it's a mid-tier, $169, uh, Chromebook. Now, before I get into the review, I want to make note that when people buy Chromebooks, and by the way, if you see me, I've got the monitors here, well, one here and one here, so. Um, if you buy or buying a Chromebook is meant for light web surfing, not for not for a regular computer for. So anyway, on to the review. This is the Samsung Chromebook 3, it's an 11.6 inch display, Samsung Xynos dual, uh, uh, 5 dual processor, uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, um, it should have been DDR4, not DDR3, it's a 16 gigabyte solid state drive, so that means that it does not have moving parts, it's actually technically more like a flash memory type based system. It's got a built-in dual-band Wi-Fi 802.11 A, B, G, and N with a 0.3 megapixel um, webcam. And it's got two USB ports. One of them is a 3.0, one of them is a 2.0, and then the other one is an HDMI port. So, here we go. So, this is what the box looks like. This is obviously a retail box, not a... I think if you went on their site. Um, inside, you get, I mean, it's a clamshell design. And you were going to have, in here is where you have your power brick. And then you have your device. So first, we're going to look at the power brick. It is a... Uh, It's a proprietary design. It's got like the the film over it. You just take the film off. Now, what I mean by proprietary design is is it is an AC adapter, but it's this adapter. Okay. So, and then you have your instruction manual, which is under here and your device so your device comes in this packaging and then for that little uh, thing here so you turn it on and it's got a uh, a smaller keyboard and it's got the film over the bezel here but that's just to make sure that nothing gets broken or anything now I can tell you by looking at it that this is going to be a matte display, which is perfectly fine, um, which is a perfectly fine display. I don't really mind matte too much, just because it helps with glossy. If you have like a glossy um, <clears throat> like a, the sun or anything in your eyes. The keyboard is a very low. It's a very low travel keyboard, so there's not really any any um, kind of sounds that you're going to hear off it like you would hear traditionally with a like a, like a MacBook or something like this. Do you hear that? Which, by the way, speaking about the MacBook, I actually have. Um, I actually have something to tell you guys in another video that I'm going to be doing tonight. Now, this is a unibody construction. 
you will, you know, so basically, but these, these aren't meant to be worked on, they're not meant to be um, internet powerhouses. These are basically light web surfing. These are for light web surfing. Uh, and that's about what they're going to be used for. Again, they are a... Think of this more like a, like a tablet with a keyboard. Now, you don't have the thing like you do on a Mac where it's so easy to... You know, you're going to have to use two hands. But then again, this is... And this is rated for a seven-hour... Um, seven-hour battery life. Now... Minus these and my small netbook, I'm actually doing, well, I'll explain that in my MacBook video. So, this is going to have to get some charge on it, and this will be a review. This will, there, this, there will be a review up on this in about a week. But And it's got bottom firing speakers, which I'm not happy with. I don't like bottom firing speakers, just because they tend to muffle the sound. But then again, like I said, when you're using this, it's just for light web surfing. You're not really doing anything labor intensive like video editing or, or anything like that. Okay, well, I'm going to give, um, this is, they, they have it listed as a notebook, but it's not, it's, well, I mean, it's a notebook size, but it's a Chromebook. So, you know, I would be very careful on how I define or have a Chromebook defined because I don't want people to believe this is a full to people to believe this is a full size computer with full capabilities because it's not. All right, I will give you guys a review of this in about a week. Let you guys know what I think about it later.